Reverend Insanity Chapter 1526, Chen Yi, Dai What an amazing killer move. Life and death is interlinked. Destruction and creation are gathered into one move. Peach Blossom Maze is the trump card of our Fang clan. It was actually resisted by this move. If this goes on, the entire battlefield killer move will break apart. Fang Di Chang was secretly shocked. Once the battlefield killer move was broken, all three immortal goo houses would suffer backlash. They would receive huge damage. Fang Di Chang was originally confident in Peach Blossom May's power, but now he saw a chance of it getting broken. Worthy of the rank 8 Immortal Goo House Divine Bean Palace, Fang Di Chang sighed deeply. His determination to obtain the Immortal Goo House became firmer. The stronger Divine Bean Palace was, the greater the fighting spirit of the Fang Clan Goo Immortals. We will use the third variation. Fang Di Chang changed his mind as he ordered. Fang Clan's Goo Immortals obeyed. The remaining flowery wind warriors self-detonated. The entire peach forest had falling petals that disintegrated into nothingness. The green leaves wilted and became yellow. The branches became barren once more. But different from before, peaches started to grow at the tip of these branches. Oh, this variation move, Chen Yi's eyes shined. Myriad life spring lightnings attack quickly became slower. Very soon, he noticed something. This third variation move of Peach Blossom Maze stored most of the power inside Myriad Life Spring Lightning and prevented it from unleashing its might. Even though it could not resolve the issue, Myriad Life Spring Lightning could not display its effect immediately either. It was a stalling method, but in this situation, it was effective. Because the forest was huge, it was hard to reach its maximum capacity especially when Chen Yu was busy and could not focus on retaliating. After using this move, Fang Clan's plan was to stall and reduce the effects of Myriad Life Spring Lightning. Chen Yi could influence Divine Bean Palace to use three methods. They were Green Armor Vegetable Garden, Graft Wood, and Myriad Life Spring Lightning. Now, these three moves had all been countered by Fang Clan. Chen Yi could not do anything. Oh no! King Chu is still resisting. I need to increase my influence and use the fourth method in Divine Bean Palace, but that needs a lot of time. Fang Clan will definitely increase their firepower. They will not give me the chance. Chen Yi's heart tightened. He felt a bit anxious now. He was multitasking now, subduing King Chu while controlling Divine Bean Palace and facing the attacks of Fang Clan. He was within Divine Bean Palace now and could not freely attack. Most of his methods conflicted with this rank 8 Immortal Goo House. Thus, all of his abilities were practically sealed. Fang Clan made use of the opportunity indeed. At this point, the Peach Blossom Maze could no longer summon Flowery Wind Warriors to play safe. Fang Di Chang did not send Fang Clan's Goo Immortals to fight. He directly used the three immortal goo houses to attack Divine Bean Palace from three directions. Boom, boom, boom. Three immortal goo houses were floating in the air, sending attacks towards Divine Bean Palace. Divine Bean Palace shook intensely. Mortal goo were continuously destroyed. Soon, even immortal goo were damaged. At this point, Fang Di Chang had gone all out. The three immortal goo houses in Peach Blossom, Maze attacked without holding back. Old Ghost Bai Jun and Eagle Concubine were pale with fright. They did not dare to resist. Chen Yi knew about their mentality and summoned these two back into Divine Bean Palace again. The two of them could not resist the attacks of the immortal goo houses with their bare bodies. It was pointless to sacrifice them now. They would be useful later when Divine Bean Palace was broken into. When the Fang Clan Goo Immortals arrive, they could stall them for a moment. Time. Chen Yi needed time now. If he had enough time, he could control Divine Bean Palace and subdue King Chu, turning the situation around. If this was an ordinary opponent, they might fall into Chen Yi's trap, 
but he was facing the wisdom path great grandmaster Fang Di Chang. He had deduced Chen Yi's plan and attacked fiercely. Chen Yi sighed bitterly in his mind. Even though he resisted for so long, Fang Clan's leader was very perceptive. His plan could not continue. But even in this situation, this heavenly lotus sect first supreme elder did not become dejected. He continued with his plan. Because he had one method left. Immortal killer move karma divine tree. At the next moment, Chen Yi's eyes widened as he burst out with an overwhelming aura. Green smoke appeared from his head and shoulders. The green smoke rose above Chen Yi's head and formed into a huge karma divine tree. Once this tree appeared, the entire divine bean palace started trembling, like it was welcoming Chen Yi's presence. At the same time, Chen Yi's influence in divine bean palace grew rapidly. The pressure he emitted on King Chu also became denser. King Chu had a bad feeling. It raised its head, but that karma divine tree had a threatening aura, especially when a huge bad effect fruit had ripened within its lush leaves. This bad effect fruit had covered by dark smoke that slowly turned into King Chu's appearance. King Chu was created with a trace of karma divine tree's power. It had a feeling when it saw this, once this bad effect fruit's smoke stops moving and turns into its appearance entirely, it would be completely subdued by Chen Yi without any way of retaliating. How could it allow that to happen? How could it? Roar! King Chu roared furiously. Its head that was suppressed on the ground with barely any strength rose up now. Its four limbs supported its heavy body, the scales on its neck protruded, its human hair was dancing in the air, its eyes were bloodshot and stared at Chen Yi furiously. Its mouth opened and its tongue broke, its roar was like an impending tsunami. Incredible, as expected of a legendary soul beast, this King Chu had been preserving strength all along earlier. Now that I used Karma Divine Tree, it has no choice but to retaliate. Chen Yi was shocked. This King Chu actually had the strength to scheme and try to turn the situation around. Chen Yi quickly suppressed it. King Chu's body immediately shook. Its limbs bent, its tortoise shell had just lifted off the ground, but it sank rapidly again. But next, countless goo worm auras emerged from its body, it used an immortal killer move. It was formed from the remnant souls of humans. It could cultivate and use immortal killer moves. Earlier against Fang Yuan, it had lost its reasoning. It was in a state of madness. It did not use any battle tactics. But against Chen Yi, it was logical and used the most appropriate method. King Chu resisted. Chen Yi breathed in deeply. His face turned green as he gritted his teeth. His upper body was shaking as he exerted himself to use Karma Divine Tree. The Karma Divine Tree above his head became larger by 30%. King Chu felt a deep pressure. It growled and used its second immortal killer move, continuing to fight. Like this, both sides continued to increase the use of their methods. They were still in a deadlock. While their excessive strength had all been utilized, you want to enslave me? You are dreaming, King Chu breathed in deeply, using all its strength to unleash the final move. Rank 8 Soul Beast Token was the core of the move as an intense light spread out. This move's name was unknown. The ripples of light penetrated Divine Bean Palace, through Peach Blossom Maze, and into the entire Green Ghost Desert. The light was extremely fast, in the blink of an eye, it spread around the whole of Green Ghost Desert. The whole of Green Ghost Desert turned silent before the ground started to shake. Next, Soul Path Dao marks burst out and manifested. Countless marks lit up the entirety of Green Ghost Desert. Roar, roar, roar. Next, all the soul beasts felt a summoning as they went to reinforce King Chu. The expressions of Fang Clan's Gu Immortals changed. Oh no! What is this move? The whole of Green Ghost Desert was affected. Green Ghost Desert has an uncountable number of soul beasts, but this move actually made all of them respond. Peach Blossom Maze is a battlefield killer move. It should isolate it from the outside world, but this move could not be blocked. 
At once, Fang Clan's morale plummeted. Everyone was worried. I know, Fang Di Chang expended his own lifespan to make the swift deduction. Soon, he opened his eyes. The immemorial soul beast inside Divine Bean Palace was formed from the remnant souls of King Clan in the past. It is not simple, it has human wisdom. It is a legendary immemorial soul beast. And this green ghost desert was created after spectral soul demon Venerable slaughtered the entirety of King Clan. The soul path Dao marks left behind created this environment. If we see green ghost desert as an incomplete battlefield killer move, this legendary immemorial soul beast is the owner of this move. It is using a method now to activate all the Dao marks in Green Ghost Desert, creating this terrifying move. Countless soul beasts are going to attack us. Peach Blossom Maze will be corroded by these soul path Dao marks and eventually collapse. Fang Di Chang was a wisdom path great grandmaster indeed. He found the truth after some deductions. He immediately ordered everyone to attack. They could not hold back anymore. Fang Clan was racing against time. Fang Clan needed to break into Divine Bean Palace and kill King Chu to resolve this move and obtain victory. Chen Yi needed to resist Fang Clan while suppressing King Chu and gaining control of Divine Bean Palace. He was also fighting against time. King Chu did not want to be enslaved, it resisted, but its most powerful move used Soul Beast Token Immortal Goo as the core. The effect was not immediate. At once, all three sides fell into a deadlock. Any side could win or fail. This battle involving Divine Bean Palace was at its climax. Who would emerge victorious? Boom! With a loud explosion, Divine Bean Palace's entrance was finally smashed apart. Charge! Opportunity flashed as Fang Di Chang shouted uncontrollably. Multiple Fang Clan Rank 7 experts entered. Once they went in, they were slightly stunned. Chen Yi, Old Ghost Bai Jun, Eagle Concubine, and King Chu were undoubtedly present. There was no doubt that relationship between these four was quite complex. Especially Chen Yi, he was emanating Rank 8 Aura, it was shocking. Chen Yi laughed, he looked at the Fang Clan Immortals in disdain. You are here to die. Fang Di Chang stayed behind them and easily exposed Chen Yi's bluff. He snorted and ordered, Kill? This person is multitasking. He cannot do anything against us. Fang Clan's Gu Immortals immediately charged. Eagle Concubine and Old Ghost Bai Jun had no choice but to block them. But Fang Clan diverted more people to target Chen Yi. Of course they had to get rid of this rank 8 existence first. Take this. Even a rank 8 will die. Accept your death. With Fang Huasheng at the lead, multiple Fang Clan Gu Immortals unleashed their strongest moves ever. Chen Yi stood on the spot. He could not move. All of the rank 7 killer moves landed on him. Chapter 1527 Fang Clan's Rank 8 Boom 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 Fang Clan's Rank 7 Gu Immortal Experts unleashed their might and attacked Chen Yi. At once, lightning flashed and thunder roared, piercing light shined in the whole of Divine Bean Palace. Air currents moved rapidly, but Chen Yi remained standing, unmoving. He was covered in layers of shining light. They were thick and old, like old tree bark. Fang Clan's Gu Immortals attacked together, but the tree bark light blocked them all. They had no effect. What defensive method is this? Not only did the rank 7 Gu Immortals take a deep breath of shock, even Fang Di Chang's pupils shrunk. Not only is he a rank 8 Gu Immortal, he is an expert among rank 8s. Will attack again? Fang Clan's Gu Immortals were not dejected. Fang Hua Sheng shouted as he led an attack again. Boom, boom, boom. Fang Clan's Gu Immortals unleashed more attacks, but Chen Yi could not dodge or move away. He was hit by them all. After the explosions faded, his body was still covered by the tree bark light, and it was even thicker than before. Fang Di Chang's gaze flickered. He finally recognized Chen Yi. So you are Heavenly Lotus Sect's first Supreme Elder Chen Yi. No wonder you have such an incredible defensive method. 
Chen Yi, the first supreme elder of one of the ten great ancient sects in Central Continent. Even though the Fang Clan Gu Immortals lived in Western Desert, they had some information about Gu Immortals of other regions. When they heard Chen Yi's identity from Fang Di Chang, their hearts sank. Pressure. A person's reputation created pressure. Just the title of Heavenly Lotus Sect's first supreme elder demoralized all of Fang Clan's Gu Immortals. Divine Bean Palace originates from Ancestor Genesis Lotus. Your Fang Clan wants to obtain it. You are simply disregarding Central Continent. Chen Yi spoke casually. Fang Clan's rank seven Gu Immortals looked at each other. They were stunned by his attitude. HMPH, Genesis Lotus Immortal Venerable left Divine Bean Palace in Western Desert. This means that it belongs to Western Desert. You are merely a descendant. How dare you distort your ancestor's decision? Fang Di Chang snickered. He was very skilled at arguments as a wisdom path great grandmaster. He would not lose in such a fight. Chen Yi laughed. It is useless. My defensive killer move is called thickening wood armor. The more you attack it, the tougher it becomes. It is weak when I first use it. But unless you destroy it in one hit, it will only become stronger. Chen Yi said, he seemed to be exposing his move, but he was using words to reduce the fighting spirit of his enemies. Right at this time, a change occurred. An old and hoarse voice resounded, then let this old man try. As he said this, a rank seven Gu immortal took a few steps forward and arrived in front of Chen Yi. His appearance rapidly changed. From a young rank seven Gu immortal into a muscular old man with white beard and hair. This old man had bulging muscles that resembled rocks. He raised his huge fist that aimed at Chen Yi's face. This fist quickly filled Chen Yi's vision. Before it landed, Chen Yi's heart was already pounding. He felt an immeasurable amount of strength path, Dao marks slamming towards him. Chen Yi's expression changed. He could not dodge this move. He had to take it. The fist landed on Chen Yi's face. Chen Yi instantly felt that a terrifying force crashed into his face like a colliding mountain. At once, he was sent flying like a cannonball. With a loud sound, he crashed into Divine Bean Palace's walls. He did not fall to the ground. He was fixed onto the wall. Puff! Chen Yi's seven orifices were bleeding. His head was almost smashed. His bones were definitely broken, but jade light soon shined on his body as he healed himself. As for his defensive killer move, it was smashed by this old man in one punch. Fang Gong, as the first supreme elder of Fang Clan, a rank 8 great expert, you actually used a sneak attack. How shameless are you? Chen Yi shouted. His anger was spewing out like fire. He exposed this old man's identity immediately. He was Fang Clan's first supreme elder, Fang Gong. This Fang Gong is indeed a strength path cultivator. Among the rank eight Gu immortals in the five regions, he is a rare one that cultivates strength path. This person concealed himself so deeply, he had been following us the entire time. Fang Clan is too determined this time. They even brought a rank eight existence here. Earlier, the two rounds of attacks by the rank seven Gu immortals were just a cover. They were setting up for Fang Gong's attack. This must be Fang Di Chang's plan. Fang Yuan had been watching the battle. He was quite shocked. The Grand Rank 8 Gu Immortal, first supreme elder of Fang Clan, actually concealed his identity and used a sneak attack. This was more shameless than a government official stealing a chicken. If news spread, his righteous path reputation would be ruined. But precisely so, Fang Gong's sneak attack was extremely effective. The situation was turned around with Chen Yi sent flying. The stalemate had been broken. Fang Clan's first supreme elder Fang Gong forced away Chen Yi. He had the upper hand now. Fang Clan could control the situation. Chen Yi fell for the scheme and was forced back. His accumulated control over Divine Bean Palace had been lost by half. He felt horrible because his objective was heavily interrupted. But he still had a chance. His injuries were not severe. Chen Yi's defensive method was broken. 
but he had the killer move graft wood earlier to protect old ghost by John and Eagle Concubine. He naturally used it on himself too. Thus, Chen Yi's injuries were sustained by Divine Bean Palace instead. Crack Crack Divine Bean Palace took the damage for Chen Yi. Cracks appeared on the walls of the palace. At the same time, the cracks spread to the roof and the tall pillars. Crack Crack Several large pillars shattered into piles of goo worm corpses. Fang Yuan's heart jumped. He thought, Fang Gong's attack must have taken all his effort. Even though that punch was very simple, it had actually concealed all of its aura. Therefore, after breaking Chen Yi's defense, the remaining force still caused such great damage to Divine Bean Palace. But Fang Yuan added in his mind, of course, this is because Rank 8 Immortal Goo House Divine Bean Palace did not use any defensive methods and was taking the hit normally, and because the attack was dealt internally, the damage was this great. Roar! As Divine Bean Palace's huge pillars collapsed, King Chu's roars also reverberated the area. Divine Bean Palace was heavily damaged, the suppression it felt also reduced, King Chu benefited from it. It raised its head and tried to hold up its body. It shattered the spears of light stabbing its body. It was about to rise up again. Noisy, Fang Gong frowned and leaped towards King Chu. King Chu roared and faced Fang Gong. Boom. Both sides collided. King Chu cried out in pain as its mountain-like body was sent flying by the ant-like Fang Gong. Fang Gong landed on the ground as he snorted, touching his fist as he jumped forward again. King Chu was a legendary immemorial soul beast, but it actually lost to Fang Gong in a physical brawl. Who is the immemorial desolate beast here? Fang Yuan was dazed. Chen Yi frowned deeply, thinking, Fang Gong is very powerful. I cannot allow him to gain an advantage and obtain control over the situation. You have already attacked. Now it is time to face my move as well. Chen Yi joined the battle, reinforcing King Chu. Fang Gong had been suppressing King Chu, but due to Chen Yi's interference, that advantage vanished. If Chen Yi worked together with King Chu, Fang Gong would not be able to match both of them, and because they had a common enemy, they could work together now, although barely. Fang Gong cultivates strength path, his power is deeply embedded in his body. He has a huge advantage in this battlefield. As for me, I can only unleash 60% of my methods. Chen Yi had a bitter and indescribable feeling. Divine Bean Palace was something all of them wanted. In this rank 8 battle, all of the people were suppressing their attacks and refused to use wide-ranged methods. The three rank 8 existences were fighting within Divine Bean Palace, while Fang Clan's rank 7 Gu Immortals had all left. Staying here was courting death after all. The difference between rank 7 and 8 was huge. Fang Clan's rank 7 Gu Immortals attacked Chen Yi and could not even penetrate his defenses. It was truly futile. Even though these Fang Clan Gu Immortals retreated, they did not return to the three immortal Gu houses, they fought in Peach Blossom Maze. On one hand, they were fighting Old Ghost Bai Jun and Eagle Concubine, on the other hand, a large number of soul beasts had already entered Peach Blossom Maze, they needed to be dealt with. This is really bad, Fang Di Chang had an ugly expression. Green Ghost Desert's Dao marks are penetrating in here. The Peach Blossom Maze battlefield has already been corroded. It cannot last much longer. Countless soul beasts are rushing in here. There are too many to kill. But First Supreme Elder is still fighting in there, unable to finish matters. What should we do? Even as a Wisdom Path Great Grandmaster, Fang Di Chang was only rank 7. He could not solve the problem. And as time passed, Fang Di Chang's analysis came true. Peach Blossom Maze got weaker and weaker, loopholes started to appear in some areas, the desert outside could be seen. And the view was terrifying, outside Peach Blossom Maze were countless soul beasts. They were all summoned by soul beast token, gathered into a sea of them. Every moment, countless soul beasts entered Peach Blossom Maze, there was no way to kill them all. 
Old Ghost Bai Jun and Eagle Concubine felt a fall in pressure. They worked together and did not dare to leave. They could only focus on protecting themselves. The crucial thing now is within Divine Bean Palace. Fang Yuan opened his eyes. He slowly stood up, having a clear understanding of the situation. Within Divine Bean Palace, three rank eight existences were still fighting. King Chu was roaring. Fang Gong was solemn. While Chen Yi was bitter, they all had ugly expressions. Because even though they held themselves back, their attacks still affected Divine Bean Palace. This rank 8 Immortal Gu House was about to break apart. If Divine Bean Palace gets destroyed, what would be the entire purpose of this fight? They only wanted Divine Bean Palace. And if this continued, this battle to fight for ownership of Divine Bean Palace was going to be the reason for its destruction. I can help your Fang Clan obtain this Immortal Gu House. At this moment, Fang Yuan spoke to Fang Di Chang. Chapter 1528 Yama, Ghost Hand Fang Di Chang was stunned. Fang Yuan was Suin Bu Jin at the moment, as a rank 7 Gu Immortal. How could he resolve the problem? But Fang Di Chang quickly reacted, smiling brightly. Go ahead and say your request, friend. What do you need in order to help us now? He was a wisdom path great grandmaster after all, regardless of whether Fang Yuan had a plan, he had to try. And Fang Yuan said this on purpose to negotiate his compensation. Fang Yuan smiled too. This situation is urgent, we cannot talk slowly. But Divine Bean Palace is a rank 8 immortal goo house, if I help you obtain it. What sort of compensation can match my contribution? Fang Di Chang did not hesitate. He bowed to Fang Yuan as he said earnestly, Friend, I can guarantee on my reputation that Fang Clan will give an appropriate compensation for your contribution. All right, then we will set an agreement, giving me a compensation worthy of my contribution. Fang Yuan clapped. Both sides made an agreement. Please open inquiry doc, I will go out personally. Fang Yuan said again. Fang Di Chang was surprised. He thought that Fang Yuan had found some weakness because he was a wisdom path Gu Immortal. But to think that he was going to act personally. So be it if he was making a move. But he wanted to leave Immortal Gu House Inquiry Dock. Once he left, the outside world would be very dangerous. Especially that Divine Bean Palace, three rank eight existences were fighting in it. The difference between rank seven and eight was huge there was a chance of dying if he got involved. Fang Di Chang hesitated. It is not safe outside. Why don't I use Peach Blossom Maze variation move and summon Flowery Wind Warriors for you to unleash your methods instead? Fang Yuan laughed. I need to use this method personally. Don't worry, I will not harm Fang Clan's interests. Fang Di Chang was not worried about this, be it the alliance agreement earlier, or their new one, there were related rules. Once Fang Yuan did anything against the interest of Fang Clan, he would be breaking the agreement, he would face a fierce backlash. But since Fang Yuan said this, Fang Di Chang could not stop him, he opened Inquiry Dock. Fang Yuan flew into the sky, getting into Peach Blossom Maze. Fang Di Chang did not blink, he was focusing on Fang Yuan's actions, he wanted to see what method Fang Yuan had to help Fang Clan obtain Immortal Gu House Divine Bean Palace. At the next moment, Fang Di Chang's eyes widened. Fang Yuan actually charged into Divine Bean Palace. Is he trying to die? At once, Fang Clan's Gu Immortals could only think of this possibility. But Fang Yuan came prepared. Immortal Killer Move Yama 1 he activated the Immortal Killer move that he had just created inside Inquiry Dock earlier. Once he used this move, the thin layer of silk clothing on the surface of his soul shined with a profound light. This profound light interacted with the soul coat, which was his ghost official garment. Ghost official garment expanded rapidly, covering Fang Yuan's body and forming a huge imperial robe that was brown in color with pale green in it. The robe had wide sleeves and a jade belt on his waist. 
the left and right side of the robe was laced with golden threads that formed the images of ghostly monsters. He also wore a royal crown that had hanging beads at the front and back one. Once this move was used, Fang Yuan's aura changed completely. He became eerie, dark, and unfathomable. What is this person doing here? Chen Yi squinted as cold light flashed in his eyes. That rank 7 wisdom path Gu Immortal? Fang Gong recognized him, but did not understand why he was here. But both parties were cautious, they did not attack yet. Fang Gong was informed by Fang Di Chang while Chen Yi decided to observe the situation first. If he attacked now, Fang Gong might find a chance to attack him. Fang Yuan officially entered Divine Bean Palace. The three rank eight existences had been fighting. Their battle strength and concentration were mostly kept among themselves. Chen Yi did not attack. Fang Yuan let out a sigh of relief. He increased his speed and flew towards King Chu. Hmm? Seeing Fang Yuan's action, Chen Yi and Fang Gong's attacks became slower. What is he trying to do? Fang Clan's Gu Immortals were all watching Fang Yuan. A wisdom path Gu Immortal approaching the legendary immemorial soul beast? This, this, this? Seeing Fang Yuan's rash action, many Fang Clan Gu Immortals were lost for words. King Chu roared. It pounced towards Fang Gong. It roared again. It pounced at Chen Yi. Fang Yuan came directly to it, but it completely ignored him. It did not sense him at all. This was the effect of the killer move Yama. This move was very special. Its core was the immortal killer move Ghostly Concealment. All along, Fang Yuan had not been able to use Ghostly Concealment well, because he could not pair it with his other moves. King Chu could detect Fang Yuan earlier because he used killer moves to fight. He had exposed himself. But it was different now. After gaining Theft Path Great Grandmaster Attainment, even though Fang Yuan could not decipher all the profundities of ghostly concealment, he had enough ability to make use of this rank 9 killer move. Yama was one of his deduction results. It combined ghostly concealment and ghost official garment. The two were no longer separate and did not conflict anymore. After Fang Yuan used the killer move Yama, no matter what he did, King Chu could not detect him. Seeing that Fang Yuan was on King Chu's tortoise shell, be it Fang Clan or the two rank 8 Gu Immortals, they were stunned. What happened? He got close to King Chu so easily. This King Chu is a legendary immemorial beast that has an immortal aperture. It is able to cultivate. Many Fang Clan Gu Immortals could not believe it. But next, what Fang Yuan did almost made their eyeballs pop out. Immortal Killer Move Great Thief Ghost Hand Fang Yuan directly stood on King Chu's back as he grabbed at it with his right arm. He was merely rank 7, but he dared to provoke a rank 8 existence like this. Many Fang Clan Gu Immortals had two thoughts. The first thought was, is this person trying to die? The second thought was, even though he was rash, one had no choice but to admire his courage. King Chu roared. It pounced towards Fang Gong. Fang Gong, again? King Chu roared. It attacked Chen Yi. Chen Yi, you idiot, there is someone on your back. Chen Yi felt something amiss. Ever since Fang Yuan appeared, everything had been too strange. Therefore, he reminded King Chu. King Chu was still able to think. It wanted to turn around, but Fang Yuan's great thief ghost hand had already activated. A huge black eerie hand entered King Chu's body. King Chu turned around to look at his back. Fang Yuan was there, but it could not see him. But soon, it roared as it pounced at Chen Yi after feeling angry from being deceived. Chen Yi was furious too. He screamed, You idiot, stop. Fang Gong was also moved. He thought, This Suin Bu Jin is amazing. He is right there but King Chu cannot detect him no matter what. What method is this? And he is currently on King Chu's back. His objective is definitely not simple. What does he want? At the next moment, Fang Gong's questions were answered. Fang Yuan's expression changed as he pulled out the ghost hand that had entered King Chu's body. 
When the ghost hand flew in, the five fingers were opened like a fan. But now, it was extremely fast and clenched, like it was holding on to something. I got it. Fang Yuan was very happy. He opened his immortal aperture as the ghost hand went inside. King Chu's huge body suddenly shook. His entire body cracked as the tortoise shell was on the verge of breaking apart on the spot. It was a soul beast. It could not spit out blood, but this scene showed that it was heavily injured. Rage. Anger. King Chu roared as it raised its head. Its furious voice turned into sound waves that reverberated Divine Bean Palace. The entire place was starting to shake. What is going on? What did Su and Bu Jin do? That fellow seemed to have taken something. Fang Gong and Chen Yi were both uncertain and suspicious. Chen Yi squinted and wanted to attack Fang Yuan, but Fang Gong blocked him and defended against the attack. Boom. At the next moment, King Chu came crashing over. Fang Gong and Chen Yi quickly dodged. King Chu roared, Who is it? Which one of you two stole my soul beast token? What? Upon hearing King Chu's words, all of the Gu immortals present felt their hearts shook intensely. He actually has a way to steal the rank 8 immortal Gu soul beast token. No wonder he wanted to take great thief immortal Gu earlier. He had this method. Fang Di Chang's eyes were wide open. Shock was all over his face. This person is not simple. He concealed himself so deeply. King Chu has an immortal aperture. He could actually steal the immortal goo from it, and it is rank 8. At once, Chen Yi thought of a famous person in history thieving heaven demon venerable. Did this person obtain thieving heaven's true inheritance? Chen Yi thought while shouting, King Chu you idiot, I reminded you already that someone is on your back. We did not steal it, that fellow did, he is at the door. King Chu turned to look. Fang Yuan was flying towards the outside of the palace. But King Chu could not see anything. The investigative killer move managed to detect Fang Yuan, but King Chu could not perceive it at all. You idiot! Chen Yu was furious and felt maligned. He retaliated. Both sides fought with greater intensity now. Fang Gong could tell that this was bad. Earlier, the three parties restrained themselves, but now, after losing a rank 8 immortal Gu, King Chu was going mad. It was filled with anger. Why would it hold back? Fang Gong persuaded them, but it was useless. Not only so, Chen Yi did not want to face King Chu's rage alone. He flew towards Fang Gong, and the three rank eight existences fought once more. But now was different than before. The three sides did not hold back. They started to use killer moves. Chapter 1529 Refining Soul Beast Token Inside the Sovereign Immortal Aperture A fan-like dark eerie ghost hand was flying around in the sky. Its fingers were clenched. Rank 8 Immortal Goo Soul Beast Token was struggling inside, trying to escape. The dark eerie ghost hand was met with this Soul Beast Token's rampage. There were protrusions on the ghost hand as the five fingers trembled. It was about to give way. However, even if Soul Beast Token escaped from the ghost hand, it was inside Fang Yuan's immortal aperture. It had nowhere to run. It would merely go from a tiny cage to a bigger cage. Fang Yuan thought. This immortal killer move great thief ghost hand that I conceptualized uses rank 9 killer move ghostly concealment as the core with rank 7 great thief immortal goo and others as the supplement. Therefore it could even steal a rank 8 immortal goo like soul beast token. However, this move cannot last long. It does not have any sealing properties. I need to work hard to refine this soul beast token myself. While he was thinking, Great Thief Ghost Hand was increasingly weakening as Soul Beast Token Immortal Goo did its best to escape from the restraint. However, Fang Yuan's goal had already been met at this point. Heaven Sealing Mountain This was originally used to seal his immortal zombie body's heaven's will. 
But now, Fang Yuan's immortal zombie body had his split soul. It was a rank six-time path clone now. Heaven Ceiling Mountain was empty as a result. Go. Under Fang Yuan's manipulation, Great Thief Ghost Hand entered the cave inside Heaven Ceiling Mountain and into the Goo Formation. Fang Yuan activated the Goo Formation. Great Thief Ghost Hand stopped trembling. The Soul Beast token Immortal Goo inside was temporarily suppressed. Even though it still struggled, it was already far less than before. I cannot constantly suppress Soul Beast token like this. The urgent matter now is to find a place to refine this rank 8 Immortal Goo. Fang Yuan thought about this. His speed did not fall. After getting out of Divine Bean Palace, he went out of Peach Blossom Maze loophole and left the battlefield directly. He left? Fang Yuan's action made all the Gu Immortals feel surprised. Chen Yi gritted his teeth in hatred. He could not do anything about it. He was facing the attacks of King Chu and Fang Gong. Such resolution. Fang Di Chang praised as he sighed deeply, watching Fang Yuan's figure that gradually became smaller. After Fang Yuan left, he met with countless soul beasts. There were an uncountable number of soul beasts. Fang Yuan was deeply moved. But he had a thought and controlled himself. He did not kill them to harvest soul cores. He needed to refine rank 8 Immortal Goo Soul Beast token now. As for the rank 8 Immortal Goo House Divine Bean Palace, those three rank 8 existences could continue to fight for it. Fang Yuan understood his own abilities clearly. Even with Reverse Flow Protection Seal, he was only able to fight rank 8 and have rank 8 battle strength. If he interfered in the battle of the three rank 8 existences now, and competed to obtain Divine Bean Palace, there was little hope and a high chance for mishaps. Once he exposes Reverse Flow Protection Seal, he would also expose his identity, he might even face Fang Clan's attacks. This was not worth it for Fang Yuan. He wanted to have a working relationship with Fang Clan and use Green Ghost Desert to cultivate Soul Path. His alliance agreement with Fang Clan was also a factor. It was not easy to get rid of it. He needed time to prepare. Even though Fang Yuan took away Soul Beast token, the Soul Path Dao marks in Green Ghost Desert still continued to corrode Peach Blossom Maze. There was a sea of Soul Beasts around the entire battlefield. But Fang Yuan left easily. He had Yama Killer move. He could use Ghostly Concealment's effect. Even King Chu could not find him. Not to mention these mere soul beasts. He flew rapidly and left Green Ghost Desert without looking back. After confirming his safety and the lack of people in the proximity, Fang Yuan landed on an ordinary desert. Fang Yuan went underground and set up a temporary Gu formation eliminating all of his aura and traces. After that, he focused his mind to deal with rank 8 Immortal Goo Soul Beast token. Soul Beast token had been refined by King Chu. Its will was inside. Fang Yuan had a lot of difficulty refining it. This was the most basic part of Goo Refinement Single Refinement. The single refinement of an existing Goo Worm. The essence of it was to use one's own will to replace the original will of the Goo Worm inside. Goo Masters use Primeval Essence to refine Mortal Goo because the Primeval Essence belonged to them and contained their will. When Goo Immortals use Immortal Essence to refine Immortal Goo, the same logic followed. Wild Goo Worms contained wild wills and were hard to tame, they were difficult to refine, but man is the spirit of living beings, trying to take away someone else's immortal goo was even harder. Fang Yuan had been planning an inquiry dock for a long time. He was not unprepared. Rank 7 Immortal Goo, Affection and Self-Love Fang Yuan first took out these two immortal goo as he activated Self-Love Immortal Goo on Soul Beast Token. The will of King Chu inside Soul Beast Token was quickly affected. It started to love and treasure itself, no matter what Fang Yuan did from now on. This will would not take a risk and self-detonate Soul Beast token. Next, Fang Yuan used Affection Immortal Goo, sending its will into the Soul Beast token. Both wills interacted and started to compete. 
Affection was not a will that specialized in offense, it was quickly destroyed by King Chu's will. But there was lingering affection will that scattered in Soul Beast token, it was not completely decimated. This was the specialty of affection will, it allowed affection immortal Gu's effect to linger. But as time passes, the lingering affection will would be eradicated. Fang Yuan continued to activate affection Immortal Gu as he sent in its will continuously into Soul Beast token. But no matter how much Fang Yuan sent in, King Chu's will would destroy it, while suffering little losses. King Chu's will was very powerful inside Soul Beast token, and was very stubborn. Immortal Essence was rapidly expended, but Fang Yuan could sustain the cost. He had already prepared a lot of Immortal Essence. His earlier development in the Immortal Aperture was paying off now. After several minutes, Fang Yuan stopped instilling affection will into Soul Beast token. There was a lot of affection will left inside, even though most of it was erased by King Chu's will. The remaining amount was quite a lot. After reaching its limit, there was no way of raising its quantity. At this point, Fang Yuan sent his self will into Soul Beast token. Once self will went in, King Chu's will became furious, charging at it like a frenzied beast. In comparison, the battle between King Chu's will and affection will earlier was like a drizzle. Fang Yuan's self will fought with King Chu's will. The fight was one-sided. The self will army could not match it at all. For example, Soul Beast token was like a camp that was the territory of King Chu's will. Fang Yuan's self-will was like an invader traveling by boat, only able to send in a small number of troops each time. With such a small scale, it was easily wiped out by King Chu's will each time. But Fang Yuan ignored that, he continued to instill self-will. His advantage was that with enough immortal essence, self-will was endlessly produced. Meanwhile, King Chu's will could not be replenished. 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, as time passed, Fang Yuan's advantage grew. He stabilized himself and eventually matched King Chu's will, having half the control over Soul Beast token. King Chu's will rumbled intensely, knowing that it was not Fang Yuan's match, it wanted to detonate this Soul Beast token. But at this time, the lingering affection will activated, erasing the determination from King Chu's will. Fang Yuan also sent in fake will and interfered with the decision of King Chu's will. Eventually, Fang Yuan sent in a large amount of self-will and charged like an army, erasing all of King Chu's lingering will. I finally refined Soul Beast token Immortal Gu. Fang Yuan let out a breath of air. His forehead was full of sweat. This battle was like a major war involving countless troops. He was extremely tired. Looking at the time, three days and nights had passed in the outside world. Thankfully I have wisdom path methods and compatible immortal goo, otherwise, I could not have refined this goo. Sigh, even though I have great thief ghost hand and ghostly concealment, I only managed to replicate a trace of thieving heaven demon venerable's capabilities. I was merely making use of his accomplishments. Legend says that Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable has a move, Steel Heart. It has the power to steal the will inside Immortal Goo and instantly refine them. It is truly amazing. Fang Yuan was sighing in his mind. He stored Soul Beast Token and quickly went back to Green Ghost Desert. I have Soul Beast Token Immortal Goo, together with 180 slaves. I can enslave that King Chu. With King Chu, I would have a huge possibility of obtaining Divine Bean Palace, after all, it has huge control over Divine Bean Palace. Even if I face the backlash of Fang Clan, I have the ability to protect my life, and if I obtain Divine Bean Palace, I will gain immense profits. Fang Yuan analyzed in his mind. But when he flew to the periphery of Green Ghost Desert, he was intercepted by a goo immortal. What is it? Fang Yuan had a thought as he slowed down. 
The female immortal smiled. I am Higu. I saw that you were flying fast. You must have an intended destination. With Green Ghost Desert's huge change, I heard that a precious treasure had emerged. I wonder if you have any information. I am willing to buy it. Fang Yuan's expression did not change, but he felt something amiss in his mind. Originally, Fang Clan had caused a huge commotion when trying to get Divine Bean Palace. All of the soul beasts in Green Ghost Desert were stirred. This could not be concealed. Western Desert's Gu Immortals noticed it and came over. Fang Yuan spent three days and night to refine Soul Beast Token. Many Western Desert Gu Immortals had already arrived. I'm afraid the battle ended already. If the three parties are still fighting, the power of rank 8 cannot be concealed. The commotion would be grand. How can these Gu Immortals be clueless now? I wonder how this battle ended. Who obtained Divine Bean Palace? Fang Yuan could not help but think. Chapter 1530, Plotting Against King Chu So that's it. Fang Yuan immediately contacted Fang Clan's Gu Immortals and found out what happened. This battle over Divine Bean Palace had indeed ended. Fang Clan obtained it. Heavenly Lotus Sect's first Supreme Elder Chen, he said some words before leaving. He wanted Fang Clan to take good care of Divine Bean Palace. He would return to retrieve it next time. As for King Chu, it also escaped. It had deep foundations. It had more rank 8 immortal goo than just soul beast token. Even though Fang Clan obtained Divine Bean Palace, among their three immortal goo houses, Chicken Dog Coop and Inquiry Dock were both heavily damaged. First Supreme Elder Fang Gong also suffered heavy injuries and the Divine Bean Palace that they got was nearly half destroyed. However, after Fang Yuan contacted them, Fang Clan promised to pay the compensation that Fang Yuan was supposed to get, and it was very high according to their alliance agreement. But Fang Clan wanted Fang Yuan to hold on first, because the commotion was too big now, news that Fang Clan obtained Divine Bean Palace would be deduced very soon. By then, Western Desert would be in a huge commotion. Many super forces would not want Fang Clan to obtain this immortal goo house and became the number one super force in Western Desert. By then, Fang Clan would face pressure from all directions. They needed to raise their strength during this peaceful period and rest. Especially their immortal goo houses, they needed to repair them. Thus, Fang Clan was tight on funds. They wanted Fang Clan to give them some time. Fang Yuan thought about it and agreed. Firstly, the alliance agreement was not strict on the payment timing. And secondly, Fang Yuan wanted to maintain a good relationship with them. The situation was different now. Fang Clan provoked Central Continent's Heavenly Lotus Sect. It was the same as provoking Heavenly Court. Fang Yuan, who was acting as Su and Bu Jin, had also been part of this, from Fang Clan's perspective. He was their natural ally against such a strong enemy. On another hand, Fang Clan was facing great pressure and wary of Fang Yuan's high battle strength. Suan Bu Jin was a wisdom path Gu immortal with methods to enslave a soul beast army. During the battle in Divine Bean Palace, he even showed the ability to steal rank 8 immortal Gu soul beast token. It was simply shocking. Thus, Fang Clan had a very vigilant attitude they did not want to provoke him, especially at this timing. Fang Clan was facing huge danger. They did not want to antagonize Fang Yuan. They even wanted to rely on him as external help. Fang Yuan understood their intentions easily. First was Tang Clan, and now this Fang Clan is also a good pawn to resist Heavenly Court. Fang Clan was plotting against the world. His vision looked towards the future. Western Desert would definitely go into a commotion. The crucial thing is how much battle strength Fang Clan still has left. How much of Divine Bean Palace's power can they unleash? If Fang Clan could endure all of the pressure, Fang Yuan would not mind helping them and stabilizing their relationship. If Fang Clan could not defend themselves or even faced extermination, Fang Yuan would not help them. In fact, he would go ahead and try to snatch Divine Bean Palace for himself. Fang Yuan watched on the fence, he had a calm emotion. 
he had gained a lot in this divine bean palace battle. Firstly, he obtained rank 7 Great Thief Immortal Goo. Together with his Theft Path Great Grandmaster Attainment level, he could start to use Ghostly Concealment. It was a qualitative breakthrough. Secondly, he obtained Soul Beast Token. Such a rank 8 Immortal Goo could not be obtained normally even if one had huge assets. And thirdly, his relationship with Fang Clan improved drastically. They even owed him lots of compensation. Even if Fang Yuan obtained Divine Bean Palace, he would need to invest a lot to repair it. In addition, his burden of feeding Immortal Goo would intensify. This result was not necessarily suboptimal for Fang Yuan. But at the moment, there are lots of Western Desert Goo Immortals in Green Ghost Desert, I cannot start my plans here. Originally, Fang Yuan was going to let Ying Wu Zai and the rest farm soul cores in Green Ghost Desert to help his soul cultivation. But he could not do so now. There were too many people now, he could not act. And there was the biggest threat, King Chu, which had escaped. This legendary immemorial soul beast had rank 8 battle strength. Fang Yuan did not fight against it personally. But he could see how powerful it was. Even with Reverse Flow Protection Seal, he could at best only fight evenly with it. Right now, King Chu was missing. It could likely be hiding in Green Ghost Desert. This way, whether Fang Yuan sent Ying Wu Zai to hunt or stayed here himself, there was great danger. If they fought, just the exposure of his identity would ruin many of Fang Yuan's plans. I should leave. Fang Yuan had many wisdom path methods. In just a while, he made the wisest choice. He decided to leave Green Ghost Desert and even leave Western Desert. Friend, at this moment, Higu was still beside Fang Yuan. Seeing his silence, she asked again. Fang Yuan chuckled as he looked at her. This woman was quite astute. She deduced many things just from his flying movement. Fang Yuan's gaze flickered as he said, I have some precious information. If you want to buy them, you need to be able to pay for them. Higu smiled. No worries, friend. Even though I am a lone cultivator, I have some assets. As long as your information is accurate, I will definitely pay an appropriate sum. Fang Yuan created a simple agreement with Higu before he told her some things about King Chu. They were all truthful words. Higu's eyes shined brightly. Oh? A soul beast that has to do with King Clan? King Clan's inheritance seems to be with it? I am unsure about the specifics. Fang Yuan shook his head, not willing to say anything else. Higu was satisfied with the information. She paid Fang Yuan a lot of Western Desert immortal materials. Even with Fang Yuan's wealth, he was quite surprised. Among these immortal materials, one was ancient divine wood, it was a rare rank 6 immortal material. Even though it was rank 6, it was very rare in Treasure Yellow Heaven. It could be sold at the price of a rank 7 immortal material. This was a small surprise. Fang Yuan earned some profits while exposing King Chu's information. On one hand, he was helping Fang Clan to divert the attention of the Western Desert Gu Immortals towards King Chu. Secondly, as long as King Chu was alive and hidden, Fang Yuan's plans in Green Ghost Desert were severely affected. He could make use of these Western Desert Gu Immortals to find out where King Chu was. If they really met and discovered this legendary immemorial soul beast, good luck to them. My information is true. Wisdom Path Gu Immortals will definitely deduce upon it to test its reliability. This involves King Clan's inheritance. Even rank 8 existences would be moved. If one or two rank 8 Gu Immortals act, King Chu would be in trouble. As a Wisdom Path Grandmaster, Fang Yuan used this opportunity to plot against King Chu. But that He Gu was not satisfied, she asked to explore Green Ghost Desert with Fang Yuan. Lone Immortals working together was common. Of course, Fang Yuan rejected her. Fang Yuan bid farewell to He Gu and left. That He Gu wanted to follow him, but he easily took a turn and used familiar face to disguise himself, getting rid of this woman. Fang Yuan did not enter Green Ghost Desert, he left from the periphery of Green Ghost Desert. 
he flew for several days without rest, arriving at Western Desert's regional wall. After passing two regional walls, he reached southern border. The blazing sun was replaced by dark clouds in the sky. Western Desert had dry winds, but southern border was humid and moist. Looking far away, mountains were covered in vegetation. The scene was dyed in a dark green color. Southern border, Fang Yuan's eyes flashed with a mild light before becoming clear again. Within the five regions, he was the biggest impression of southern border. Immortal investigative killer move Kai Luck sensation. Immediately, he used the killer move as cold light shined in his eyes. He had connected his luck to Upper Extreme Heavenly Eagle earlier. Now that he used Kai Luck sensation, he sensed its location to an extent. Fang Yuan's main objective in southern border now was to obtain control of the upper extreme heavenly eagle again. This space path immemorial desolate beast was very useful to him. With it, Fang Yuan could annex all of the blessed lands within City Well. His immortal aperture's foundation would rise sharply and his Tao marks would increase in number. The southeast direction, Fang Yuan stopped Kai Luck's sensation as he flew into the clouds at lightning speed.